episode of Wine and Conversation. I am Colleen Babel, founder and editor of the fashion blog City Luxe Style. And I'm Dina Babel, her sister in law, and I am a fatherless daughter expert. I am also an author and speaker, and I have my own YouTube page, which is The Dina Babel Show. You can find me at dinababel.com. All right. Well, today we have a really cool episode. Like I said, we are going to be tasting some of the wines that have come out of the Real Housewives franchise. It's one of our favorite shows to watch on Bravo. We're both Bravo-holics, and we love to talk about the shows after we watch them, a little wine while we're watching them, and we also really value that a lot of these women on these shows are entrepreneurs like ourselves. So we thought, what better thing to do than to actually taste test these wines today and talk a little bit about some of our favorite people on the show and, yeah. and what they're up to. So the first one we're going to start with is the B. The B is back. The big B. It is Skinny Girl California Rosé. We love some rosé, honey. And this wine is by Bethany Frankel, who's part of the Real House Size of New York franchise. It's 100 calories, girl. It's 100 calories. Yeah. So let me read a little bit. Um, I'm 46, so I have to hold back. Okay. Everyone loves a great glass of wine, but shopping for wine can be confusing. No, it's not. I just grab rosé. <laughs> That's why I created Skinny Girl California Rosé. It's mild with a complex aroma of cherry watermelon and ripe citrus fruit and some kick-ass Bethany. Sounds I added good. That. Yeah. So I already poured a little bit. All right. Let's taste this. So we're going to taste it. Yeah, cheers. cheers. All right. Oh, it tastes like money. <laughs> Which is what she's made of apparently right now. Yeah. This is really good. Um, I definitely taste the fruitiness. I, uh, I mean, it's actually really, I mean, I love rosé. How do you mess rosé up? But Skinny Girl did good. I'm actually pretty impressed. I'm going to get Tipsy Girl drinking this. <laughs> Don't say that. Uh, You'll see. have a I'll lawsuit get on your I'll hands. get sued. No, I actually really am pleasantly surprised with the taste of this. I think it's really good. If you're a rosé lover, especially if you're someone who's maybe not experienced with rosé, I think this is a great price point. It's around, I think, like $14, $15 a bottle. And um, it's a good starter rosé. Yeah, if you're so. watching your waist, you want to cinch it in a little bit in the summertime, yeah. you could float around on a float with this for 100 calories. Yeah, I really The cool like thing it. about Bethany to me is that she's self-made, obviously, yeah. right? I mean, I love her tagline this year. If you're coming for B, you better not miss. Mm -hmm. What would your tagline be? My tagline, I've obviously given this a little too much thought, but my tagline would be, um, my job is to bring the drama. Yours is to handle it. Girl, kick it. You know? What do you I think? Don't, you like I don't that? know. Yeah, I do like it. I don't have one. It'd be something about being Southern, but I don't even know what it was, what it would be. But anyway, I do want to talk about Bethany being a self-starter and motivated and empowered woman, which we love. Cheers mm -hmm. to that. Um, she is fatherless. She talked about that a lot on her reality show and all the spinoffs um, that her father, she was estranged from her father and essentially estranged from her mom as well. But um, what happens with a fatherless daughter is they basically raise themselves, which I talk about a lot on my other um, videos. But it empowers you at a young age that if you want to take life by the horns, you're going to have to do it for yourself. You don't have the luxury of having uh, your mom and your dad both there to cheer you on and maybe help you physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, whatever it is. So she took the bull by the horns, honey, and made it happen. Do you remember when she was in Costco behind that one little desk? Like, hey, come over here and get my wine. Yeah, and, you know, she's definitely come a long way since then. I think she sold this company to Jim Beam for, like, is it Jim Beam or Jack Daniels? I don't know. Either it's one. one of the Regardless of which one it was, um, she made a lot of money from this company. A lot of coins. And she's only expanded it. So Clip. good for her. Um, she's also one to start a ton of drama on The Housewives. Oh, gosh, love it. You know, I like to say, like, she's the Michael Jordan, Tiger Woods, whatever of Housewives. If there was an award for that, I think she'd win it. She just has the best one-liners, and she always brings the drama. Oh, I will say the same day. that her face looks phenomenal. Who's ever doing fillers or whatever's going on with her? Can you please tell me who it is? Because she she looks so good. I know she said she got Botox in her in her jawline because she felt like it was a little intense. And it softened her up. I mean, sister yeah, I mean, looks, she good. looks good. She looks no, good. I'm not gonna say she doesn't look good. But, but look, this but rose is kicking. The, rose. the rose is good. We she like did a good it. job here. Of course, she doesn't screw anything up. I mean, I know she's she's definitely even her popcorn's else. tasty. It's popping, girls. Let's go with the next All one. All right. The next one this? is Lisa Vanderpump. This is her pink sangria. Um, she is obviously one of the most famed Beverly Hills housewives. Yes. We love her. She is a rich pump. 
pumped. Yeah. She pumped up. Yeah. Her she, wallet is pumped. So I don't typically like sangria. I don't think. Um, I don't love sangria. Yeah, either. I mean, it's all right. This is made with rosé wine, though. We both I, love rosé. I so don't want maybe. anything with fruit basking in it, like old fruit flipping around I'm kind of with you on that. Um, but, you know, like you said, everything she does turns to uh, to gold. Turns to gold. Let's see if it tastes as good as it looks. Okay. Cheers. <laughs> You're not into it. I'm not into it. I, I mean, look, if there was pineapple and stuff floating in it, I would probably eat the fruit out of it. But if I had a glass of this at a party, I would drink another one. <laughs> yeah, probably by a pool, by a beach. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, everything she does, she's going to sell it in a million restaurants. Everybody and their mom is going to drink her wine. She doesn't need any more money, let's be real. But what she does do very well, it's interesting. She started off as an actress. Did she? Yeah, and then that, she yeah. married Farah, I mean, Ken, when she was in her <laughs> 20s. And um, they've done a lot. They've started all these shows. She's an activist. Bars, they, restaurants. Bars, restaurants. She's lived in Europe. She's been here. She's adopted a child. Her daughter, her daughter Pandora, is great. Yeah, I, mean, I think actually Pandora runs this beverage company, actually. Which is impressive started, because yeah. if you come from a family of money, you might just be like, I'm going to chill out, you know, in Ibiza or whatever. And, and Pandora gets it done. Well, I have to say the one thing that I don't understand about Lisa Vanderpump, and I never will, is the swans. The swans. Can we talk about that? Like, I would be afraid to walk up on her house with those swans. Because swans are panky, aggressive. Panky, panky. I mean, they panky like... And panky and swanky nip, and tanky I mean, and lanky and manky and wanky. <laughs> and Ken tries to wrestle him down and take him to the vet. And he's, like, getting it's beat up. It's a But I do want to say, this is what I really like. I'd like to see Ken get a new hairdo or maybe use some frizzy. See, I like his hair. I think you he's, do? like, he reminds me of... Is a, that sexy time? No, it just reminds me of a throwback to Rod Stewart. He is kind of Rod. You know? But he wears that like purple shirt or pink or whatever, and he has it unbuttoned, and he's got the dog, and he's like just running around doing whatever. But that's she like says. his thing. Can you imagine him in like a plaid from like you know Macy's and like doctors? Like it's not happening. You him. know what I do like? I like that he lets his woman be in the forefront, and he's yeah. not scared to let her shine. I mean, drink to that. Yeah. Go Kenny. Go Ken. I'll, I'll, Go Farrah. I'll buy your rosé for that. Yeah. Um, sangria rosé, pink sangria, mm -hmm. or whatever she is. I will say that I would like to see Lisa's hair slick back. You know, she's got her hair like this and she's got her lips kicking and her skin looks phenomenal. Her eyelashes are perfect. I don't know if you've ever had eyelash extensions. I have, yeah. Okay, but she's got, oh, you did it for your wedding. Yeah. She's got like a, she has them a little bit in and not all the way out so they don't get in her way. Because if you've ever had extensions, they look phenomenal without makeup. But when you want to itch your eye, you have to go like this. Yeah, I mean, they, you can't get your itch They're on. very, they look great, but, like, you literally have to, like, wash your face so gingerly and careful. Yeah. I wasn't good at them because I would forget, and I just rub my eyes, and... Would you style her? How would you style her? Oh, God, I would love to style her because I think that she has, like, obviously a great, probably, budget for styling. Oh, God, can I you mean, imagine? I can't even imagine. Her closet is, like, like, it looks like a boutique. I mean, yeah. it looks amazing. But what I would do is I would pair her back a little bit. She wears a lot of jewels, big statement stuff. The pink, keep the pink thing, but maybe just pair it back a little bit. How do you think she's doing on the housewives? I think she's all right. I think she's going to end, though, after maybe, like, one more season. She doesn't need it. She doesn't yeah. need it. But she does stay out of the fray. I think a season ago, was it last season or whatever, she kind of got the brunt of a lot of stuff yeah. that she had stirred up for a while. And then I think once Brandy got out of the picture, she could mellow back out and kind of right. do her thing. Because what she's good at is business. And sisters made it happen. Um, who do we? I'm gonna put this in my spittoon. Mm -hmm. I liked it, but I'd rather be with B. How about you? Same with me. I think I like the rosé from Bethany, Bethany Frankel a lot Yeah, I do better. too. All right, so speaking of the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, we have the last and final wine we're going to be reviewing today from a former Beverly Hills housewife, Brandy Glanville. And this is Girl. Unfiltered Blonde Chardonnay. So I have to be honest with you, I'm definitely not a Chardonnay person. Me either. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know how this one's going to turn out, but she says this has hints of spicy vanilla, oak, crisp apples. She obviously likes her wine. We mm -hmm. saw that on the show. So maybe she, she has knows a little what she's much. Doing. She has yeah. a little much. All right. So let's take a taste of this. You know, I have to say about Chardonnay. To me, Chardonnay's like having the girlfriend that's not in your core group, but the outer group. You know, you're acquainted with, but maybe you don't want to hang out with all the time. <laughs> and she comes to the party and you're like, you know what, we'll deal with her. And then she ends up maybe drinking too much. You're like, I wish she didn't. But on the other hand, she's very entertaining. 
That's what Chardonnay is to me. Okay. If you drink enough, you'll entertain. <laughs> well, it could go either way. Oh, cheers. Yeah, cheers to this. Let's see what Brandy Glanville has to offer. I have to say, I expected it to be like terrible. Yes, yeah, not But bad. I really like it. It's not bad. It's, it's not overpowered oak. It actually, I would say, tastes less like a Chardonnay than any other Chardonnay I've had. Which like is probably, a flat Pinot. Which like is, a flat Ramona. Yeah. <laughs> which is probably bad for anyone who really likes Chardonnay. But for me, I actually really like it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little buttery, but it's yeah. not overpowering. It's actually really good. And you know what's interesting to me? That Brandy's no longer on the housewives. Right. And she's still got a wine going. Now, the proprietor that helped her with this, I think is out of... Um, Sonoma. Proprietor, I'm sorry. Is out of Sonoma. Um, and she has two people in with her doing this. And that says a lot because a lot of these housewives came up with wines like Ramona and all these people. We Teresa. can't find them. Teresa, Judici, Judici. Let me tell you something. I came up with a concept to do a video for this. And these are the only three housewives wine that I could find anywhere. What so. is wrong with you ladies? And let me say this. I'm from Atlanta. And I would like to see these girls in Atlanta do like a Zinfandel or a Moscato or whatever is true to what they drink. Because if you watch the Atlanta Housewives, this year they brought it, girl. They did. They all they their breast yeah. All their breast yeah. I mean, at that reunion, talk about a stylist dream. I would love to style these reunions because I think these women want to look their best at these shows, and they end up sometimes going like a little too much, and it ends up just looking a mess. Yeah, it is. Yeah, like, it's a whole lot. I mean, it's interesting. I think the casting is done pretty well, but we're getting a little tired of the group. And what went down this year with Phaedra and Candy it was and all right. that, it was hard yeah. to watch. Even as girls, we love, girls love drama. We love to watch other people and say, we're not as cray as that one. But when you start talking about drugs and sex and all that kind of stuff, and you do it and- Serious allegations. Yeah, and you're, you, you can't follow it up with the truth. I know Phaedra personally. I love Phaedra one-on-one. Um, I think she's a great girl. So I don't know everything that went on with that, but it made me feel a little icky. It did, yeah. And I'm really glad, supposedly, Kim Zolciak, Nene Leakes are coming back. Bleep. Again, two MVPs of the whole franchise. So I think they're going to like breathe new girl, life into Girl, it's my wig, it. right? Let me tell you something. Her wigs have been looking a lot better Her than when she first started out. Ooh. All right, so we've talked a lot about the housewives. I have a question for you. Where's Ramona's Pinot? Well, other than that, because uh, you know Ramona knows her Pinot Grigio. I would have loved to have tried that. But my question is, out of every, first of all, what is your favorite franchise? Okay. Um, I would say Beverly Hills, just because everybody wants to live that lifestyle. That's what everybody wants to do. And who's your favorite housewife? I like Bethany, and I know she's not on Beverly Hills, yeah. but she could cross pollinate. But oh, she um, definitely could. I would say probably right now, just off the top of my head, I would say Lisa Vanderpump because she is an activist. She cares about people. She is an amazing entrepreneur, and she does a lot for every type of person. No, it doesn't matter their socioeconomic background, where they came from, who they are. She lets everybody be who they are, and she does very well with it. And I love that about her. Yeah, I agree. I think those are both. I have to say my favorite has to be New York City. I live, you know, in that area, and I think they just constantly bring the drama. I also love seeing where they go, where they eat, things Who's like that. Who's your girl? That. In New York? Uh-huh. Uh, Dorinda. I think she just Oh, my is God. Like, do you love her? She's definitely been, like, a blessing to the whole, like... What do you think about her man? I think she's cool. I think that they get along well. She, he's exactly what she needs. He's fun. He likes to go out. She wants, like, a light kind of a situation. She's cool. This is what I like about her. She's very direct. She says exactly what she thinks. And she gets it done. If someone upsets her, she kind of tells them like it is yeah. and lets it go. Um, don't you wish you could be a little bit like Dorinda though? You could just say, look, I don't like what you said, what you did and move on. Girls should be more like that, but we can't cause we'll hold a grunge for like 20 years. But I like that Dorinda handles yeah. it. I so do like she's that. She's definitely one of my favorites. I also like Beverly Hills. It's hard to pick a favorite because they're so like from each franchise there's always like one of two, one or two you kind of take sides with throughout the season. So your favorite out of all these wines. Sister child. Yeah. The B, the B is to, back. I have to agree. I think that was my favorite too. But then again, I am biased because I like rosé a lot better than Chardonnay Me or too. Sangria. But I will say this. Whatever your taste is, whether you're a Chardonnay person, a Sangria, whatever, all three of these are great if you like whatever they are. Yeah. So I would recommend these to anyone. Um, I think we're going to probably wrap things up here. But sure. But before we do, uh -huh. 
I would like to know a couple things. Sure. What, what are you wearing? Because this is a fabulous little Thank outfit you. you have on today. Thank you. I got this little, little boutique. It's my girlfriend's boutique in Atlanta. It's called Fabric. Um, just a little knockoff, which I love. But I'll show you my shoe. Now, this is the action. I have my little Jimmy Choo Choo. See my little shoe? Mm -hmm. And I like that they added the gold right here at the bottom. I get these every year. I mean, I fall off the side of them because I can't walk in yeah. wedges real good, especially with children. But they look hot. And they give you a nice, a nice little calf muscle. Yeah, I think those are really nice. The other thing I want to bring up, I'm not jeweled out. This is just random jewelry, but... How much do you love Chrissy Teigen? All right, I love Chrissy Teigen. I think she's hilarious. I love her cookbook. She always has this like dewy, beautiful glow to her. Oh God, I know. Do I look dewy? You do. Okay, so I got this is Becca by uh, Chrissy Teigen, and it's a it's a bronzer, it's a blusher, it's a highlighter, and all this good stuff. Um, she did a great job, and so you just put the blush on. You put a little um, dark contouring right here. See, it looks like I got cheeks. Look. It looks good. And then a little light right there. So, Christy, girl, you did it, sister. Yes. I love her. I do, too. All right. So, for what I'm wearing, I have House of Harlow earrings on. I have Vita Feed bracelets, a dress from Revolve. It's La Academy. Mm -hmm. And my shoes, let me bend down here. Whoa. Are, sorry. <laughs> are uh, Rebecca Minkoff. They have a block heel, which is a major style right now. They're very, very comfortable. If you're interested in shopping either anything from our looks or the wines here, I'm going to link everything below in the comment section so you can shop directly from there. You don't even have to figure out where everything's from. We got you covered. Before we leave, last thing, where can everybody yes. find you? So everybody can find me on YouTube, obviously. I have the Dina Babel Show. DinaBabel.com. It's D-E-N-N-A-B-A-B-U-L.com. As I said, I'm an author, speaker, and fatherless expert. We offer mentorships, coaching, retreats, and everyone, everything that comes from being fatherless. And we define fatherlessness as a lack of an emotional bond. So it could be divorce, death, incarceration, abuse, addiction, or just your dad worked all the time or whatever. And it's all about reconciliation, if you can, and resilience, and how to get your power back. And social media? Social media, Dina Babel everything. D on Instagram, Dina Babel Fatherless Expert. I have a million Facebook pages. I mean, I'm all over the place, girl. I'm all over the place. Okay. And I am Colleen Babel, and my website is cityluxstyle.com. I am a fashion blogger, stylist. My website has everything from fashion, beauty, and lifestyle, wine, cheese, everything. So make sure you go to cityluxstyle.com to check that out. And you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest. All of it. Oh, what, I'm on Pinterest too, girl. Where am I thinking? YouTube. What am I thinking? All right, every social media you can possibly think Her of. Her yearbook. Snapchat, everything. At City Luck Style. So make sure you go. Check us out. Follow us. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section below. Until next time. Bloop. Clip. Bye, everyone. Okay. No, any mean comments, just don't bother. Yeah, leave it out, leave yeah. it out. If you're listening, Lisa Vanderpump, I would like to ride your mini horse. She is a rich pump. Money can buy your clothes. <laughs> I mean, you've done that before. I can't help it, I love it. It's getting their lips injected, and their nose done, and this, this, and that. <laughs> Bloop. That's Bloop. for Nene. Flip, whatever it is. Flip, right? flip. <laughs>